So let's begin, let's close eyes for Adha practice. So Adha is about grounding. And let's just for a few moments become aware of the state of our mind, intellect, and ego. The three inner instruments. So there is a tendency for them to be a little bit floaty, spacey, moving here and there. And if that's the case, we need to bring some stability to them, to, to anchor them into this present moment, which is the Atta. So in Ayurvedic terms, the restless, kind of exhaustive kind of movements of the mind, which tires itself, that is indicative of an overactive vata. And we might be under that influence. And to stabilize vada, to, to bring down that kind of vada, we need to increase kapha, its opposite quality. So kapha would mean connect to earthiness, connect to weightiness, etc. So in that sense, become aware of your sit bones and feel that sense of weight. So the weight of the body is kapha. So as you try to connect to this weightiness and earthiness, you're increasing that force of earth and water which is the dosha of kapha. Now be aware of the hands and the knees and again try to sense that weightiness of the hands on the knees. For a few moments sense the upper arms and let the shoulders relax so that you can sense the weight of the upper arms, the kapha factor. So once through kapha we have brought about a kind of a stability, a calmness to the movements of vada, then we can now directly work on vada. So remember that in our practice of integrating Ayurveda with yoga, our direction is to stretch vada towards prana, pitta towards tejas, and kapha towards ojas. So now to deliberately work on vada. So as we infuse movements with awareness, with direction and intention, vada starts to transform to prana. So movements you should relate to vada. So you should give attention to that energy of movement. So now move your attention to the right big toe, sensing that ability to move attention. And then stay with that big toe for a few moments. And that staying stable on the right big toe, you are connecting to kapha. And then you're also discerning. So you might be getting many perceptions and sensations. Out of that, you're discerning which one is clearly the right big toe. That is sadaka pitta, the sabdosha of pitta which allows you to discern. Now let your awareness move towards the front pelvic floor and that movement, remember, is vada. So connect to that force which allows that movement of attention and then that movement of the pubis a bit downward, the expansion of the pelvic floor. So all these are movements and that's all vada. And then you're trying to stabilize your attention towards that front pelvic floor, that is kapha, you're sensing that, that, or you're anchoring your awareness into that space, kapha. And you're really discerning that this is the pelvic floor front, that is pitta. And now move vada, tailbone, downward. So that's a gentle movement of attention and body, both directed by vada. 
and trying to sense back pelvic floor. So you might need pitta. Pitta is the light of your brain, light of your consciousness, fire of your consciousness, which can process and digest the experience and discern what is what. And now take your awareness towards the navel space. So that movement is vada. The holding is kapha. The discerning, the lighting of that, the illumining of that spot, so that it becomes more and more radiant in the light of our consciousness. That is sadaka pitta. Now let your awareness move vada to the heart space. Hold it, kapha. Illumine it, discern it. Pitta. Now awareness moves vada to throat. Hold it, kapha. Now let your awareness move towards the middle of the skull space. Again, that feeling, that movement, vada. Holding it there, kapha. Stabilizing. And really discerning that sensation, that spitta. You know, release the deliberate focal points and simply stay with this feeling tone of your being. So when the doshas are slightly moved towards its deeper nourishing counterparts, such as prana, tejas, vojas, there will be a different kind of feeling to yourself. So there might be a stability, there might be a sense of weightiness, but also a lightness of vata, stability of kapha, lightness of vata, and also a sense of radiance of the discerning light of your consciousness, the pitta. So now we work a little bit more on the vata by doing tanu one. So starting to notice the movement of the breath. So remember movement is vata. So noticing the inhale and exhale. So when your energy is always, energy of your awareness is going out of your organism to future, to past, to other people, your vada exhausts energy. So energy has these two sides, one end is vada. Through vada it exhausts itself. But right now as you are stabilizing your energy of your awareness on the breath, and this is your organism itself, energy starts to settle into this other end, which is prana, which is deeply nourishing. So you see the movement of the breath, and that movement is vada, and you have to use the same power of vada to move your attention along with the movement of the breath.
you know, become aware of the spot just above the upper lip. We are moving into Tanu 2. So we have to hold our spatial attention very steadily here, even as you continue your breath noticing. So whenever we say hold steady, we are invoking the capacity of kapha to hold steady, to kind of make our attention stick with the focal point. Can even imagine kind of sticking a big part of your attention right above the upper leg, and then this attention is just staying there, seated there, just like you're seated on the sticky mat. Similarly, on the sticky power of kapha, your attention sits on top of the upper lip, and then senses the breath. It doesn't go anywhere though. After the next cycle, soften the holding of attention on that spot. In a few moments, simply be so you might be sensing a, a more integrated settled state. So the settled state is referring to kapha. And if you're sensing a lightness of consciousness, that is vada. And it's not lightness in terms of dullness and you know, sleepiness, that's also sometimes light. But we're talking about a radiance, a brilliance, a buoyancy of energy as well, pitta. Now we move to Tanu 3, which is deep, even breathing linked with the subdoshas of vada so inhalation you lower the pubis down to expand the pelvic floor and just feeling the apana vada space the pelvic floor expand as you continue to inhale the abdomen expand samana vada as you continue to inhale the ribs expand prana vada as you continue to inhale let it feel the, the, the throat space, and that's Uttana Vada. At the height of the inhale, hold the breath for a few moments, holding the entirety of your energy being Vyana Vada, and then exhale. So by yourself, nice deep breathing. And through the inhalations, linking to all the five sub-vadas. And exhalation, you let yourself just dissolve.
after the next dip, breath cycle, release the deliberate deep breathing. And then simply stay in open awareness. So Sadhaka Pitta is the digestive fire linked to your brain. So Pitta is the fire of digestion and it's got five divisions. So fire of div uh, the digestion, basically normally we are talking about Pajaka Pitta which is located at the belly area, which digests your food. It not only digests, it discerns as to which is useful for you, which can be absorbed by you, and it, it, it kind of rejects what is not um, good for you. So the same capacity of the brain, Sadhaka Pitta, which can digest and process your experiences, absorb what is soulful for you, what is nurturing for you, what is wholesome for you, and reject tanu, what is unwholesome, what is not needed, what is junk. So when we relate it to Padanjali's teaching, this is jnana dipti. So we relate sadhaka pitta with jnana dipti. We light it up. So when this flame is lit up, ashuddhi shaye, you will see a different kind of impurities, meaning unwholesome patterns, non-useful thought patterns, how we get so, how we invite all these thoughts and we get stuck with it. So this pitta can burn it. So for a few moments, really staying with Sadhaka Pitta. Now take the namaste, so don't douse this flame of awareness, don't bring down this flame, keep it a flame uh, even through the asanas. So gently open eyes and lie down, have a strap ready and just lie down.